Sometimes we have seen animals wander onto the surface of sporting arenas around the world, but rarely do we see an animal deliberately smuggled into a stadium and released on the playing field. Yet most of us can remember the time a pig found its way onto the Sydney cricket ground during a game between Sydney and St Kilda back in 1993. This infamous moment created some great commentary by Sandy Roberts. Oh, there's a pig on the ground. <laughs> there is a pig at full forward. It looks like a large white land race cross. The men behind the prank were notoriously quiet about the finer details, but opened up about the story around a decade later in the book Urban Footy Legends. I'm Jackson from Off The Play, and this is the rare, full story of Australia's most famous pig. Not you, mate. The pig named Plugger. This all started when three passionate St Kilda supporters and part-time practical jokesters decided over a beer that they would attempt to release a pig onto the field of an AFL match. The boys had a good friend playing AFL, Simon Minton Connell, and he knew about the plan but never believed his mates would go through with it. But he should have known better. The boys had a track record. A couple of years previously, they released a pair of mice onto the roulette table at the Adelaide Casino. Little would Minton Connell know the pig would eventually be released during a match he would be playing in. On the morning of the game, the boys purchased the pig from a local farmer and took it home with them. The pig was kicking around and squealing really loud, so the lads knew it would be too tough a task to smuggle it past the SCG security. So, they got the pig high. One of the boys lit up a joint and blew the smoke into the pig's face until it had the desired effect. Once it became a chilled out, well behaved little piggy, the boys wrote the number four and the word plugger on the side of the animal. Now this was a celebration of Tony Lockett, who was out of St Kilda's team that afternoon, and it was not meant to insult the champion Ford in any way. The boys arrived at the game, waited for Sydney's team bus, and snuck past security by walking in alongside some of the Swans players and staff. With the lads now inside the stadium, they went to centre wing, and at about the 10 minute mark of the first quarter, Plugger was released onto the ground. The first three or four minutes were an anti-climax. Plugger just kind of stood near the boundary and did nothing. That was until he was noticed by a Sydney trainer. When the trainer tried to grab the pig, it dashed through the centre of the ground and towards the Saints forward line. So now you had a stoned pig with Plugger written on it just standing at full forward. It really could not have worked out any better for those guys. The pig held up play until eventually Swans defender Darren Holmes laid a tackle that looked like a push in the back to me. We are not exactly sure what happened to Plugger. He was auctioned off after this stunt, and I'd like to believe he lived a long and fruitful life surrounded by all his little pig friends. A couple of years later, there were plans for the boys to release a second pig onto the ground, but the boys blamed too much marijuana on their failure. I'm unsure if they're talking about consumption by the pig or themselves, but very well. That's our video. Thanks very much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to Off The Play.